365 days, 365 messages God has in store for us in each day. You've got mail from God, written by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and join us. Let us see what God has in store for us today. Today is March 11, 2022, and the title of this devotional is The Faith That Transforms. The scripture reading can be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, and it says, But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for waking us up this morning. I ask that you continue to bless and guide us throughout the day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yesterday we pondered how God declares us righteous and the effect it has on our lives. Today we will consider the second part of this quote. The righteousness by which we are justified is imputed. The righteousness by which we are sanctified is imparted. The first is our title to heaven. The second is our fitness for heaven. Imparted righteousness. Imparted righteousness is the gift God gives us each day to prepare us to go to heaven. It is the daily and sanctifying action of the Holy Spirit that seeks to reproduce in us the character of Christ. This is a gradual and internal process of Christian's growth. In fact, it takes a lifetime of daily, constant growth. This reminds me of a story. The family was ready to go to bed. The maid went to lock the doors and opened the door to look outside. Suddenly, a revolver was held to her forehead. They commanded her to be silent, gagged her, and entered the home. Then they began filling several bags with valuables. The ringleader went up to the second floor to look for money, but a surprise awaited him. The family's grandmother was in her room on her knees. He put the revolver to her head and made her Stand up. This is a hold up, ma'am. She told him that she was sorry he was wasting his time, but that he could not continue with the hold up. She ordered him to put away the gun and sit down. Then she took him by the hands and made him see that he was too young to follow such a bad path. She asked him about his family and he told her he had a wife and children. Then she said to him, God brought you here because he loves you and wants you to know him. He wants to save you and your family. He wants to give you the opportunity you need. The lady gave him a Bible and prayed for his family. He apologized, went down to the first floor, and said to his men, Put everything back in its place, and let's go. In the neighborhood, they say that the band broke up because something strange happened to the leader during a holdup. And now he's a deacon in the Adventist church that the family they robbed also attends. The strange thing, they say, is that now he works for that family's company. God says to you today, If you need a change, Come to me. Amen.